Sanitarium has been around since 1972. It needed an upgrade. Originally, the Walter Alexander Foundation approached the district. I didn't have any information at all that they did this, and they wanted to do some good in the community. Uh, Fifty to sixty thousand dollars worth of good uh, is what they were they were thinking. And the central office kind of looked around. Uh, there was a very tight niche of criteria attached to the gift, very specific. So it wasn't just they could just accept the gift. It had to be used in a very specific way that involved the community access and things like that. And so they looked at internally and they said, well, look at this, looking at the specifics, what areas could we actually use the gift for? And planetarium was on the top of their list. So they went back to the uh, foundation and said, here is something that fits your specifics. And the board then, uh, Dr. Fred Prane came in. Uh, he asked for a very specific presentation, a short presentation on the entire vision, not just uh, what we could use this one gift for. He wanted to see the whole vision and what it would cost. So I did, I, I laid out the entire vision of the planetarium and they went back and talked and agreed to do the entire vision of $230,000 for this, this theater. And so it really started very small and then as people talked and talked and heard more, it just started to really grow. Since the planetarium has been around for so long, how does it affect our community? For the last couple of years, we have had an impact on the community with the old theater. And we had uh, public shows on Friday nights, and those shows were pretty full. There were quite a few Fridays where all the seats had reserved and sold out. And so the community was coming. They're very excited about it. And then when they heard the, about the renovation, uh, there was folks that applauded. Uh, on our final night, when we were giving our star projector last light, there was a standing ovation in a sold-out house. Uh, and so the, what, what impact will the new theater have on the community? Well, I think people are just so excited. Uh, there's a regular following and people are, are just more excited to come back and see the updates. So it's pretty much a reward for the community, for those people who are really excited to get in here, birthday parties and scouts and people who have been coming, they now get this extra special, like, wow, thing that you can't get except for maybe in Milwaukee or Chicago, and it's right here in Wausau. The planetarium had lots of old equipment that needed to be updated. This room was completely gutted. Uh, if you walked in in the summertime, you'd see a huge gaping hole in the brick, and this room was completely emptied. The dome, the carpet, most of the electrical wiring, it was completely an empty shell. And then we started over. Um, so everything got upgraded. Now some of the equipment we brought back in. Um, some of the audio equipment was brought back in, uh, although not the audio system itself. Uh, some of the computer systems were brought back in. Um, some of the production equipment was brought back in and things like that. But as far as the actual theater goes, uh, everything in here is, is almost new. The planetarium is a great resource to our community. What has remained? The, the biggest piece we had to keep was the old Apto Mechanical Star Projector. Uh, it's just an iconic, beautiful piece of equipment that has been in the district for f over 40 years. And thousands and tens of thousands of people. At this point, after 40 years, probably maybe hundreds of thousands of, of people have been under that machine's night sky. So it's, it's a pivotal piece of equipment for the community and for the school. And so we had to put that in its new resting place out front for people to come and see it. And so I, I think the new uh, display case out front really pays quite an honor to that original piece of equipment. The planetarium has been updated for you. Go check it out.